We just got 150 chlorine out of 25 just by mixing it with oxygen. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I have a whole bunch of secret refiner recipes for you because the origin update changed everything. So before we get into those details, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of you out there. 97,000 subscribers. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous, you guys, it is awesome. You guys are insane. But we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So, if you haven't joined the channel or you haven't subscribed to the channel and you love No Man's Sky, I don't know why, look down there below the video, that red subscribe button, click that thing for me. We're trying to get to 100,000, and I promise you, if you love No Man's Sky, you're gonna love my video. So, let's just jump into these details for the uh, refiner now. With the Origins update, they changed a lot. They removed some items. They gave us some more items. Like you can see, we have some recipes for items that we didn't have before. Quantum computer, magnetic resonator, I mean, a solar mirror. We didn't have any of these things before. And so we have new items, but they also changed a lot of our recipes in the refiner. Now there's good old reliable, and I know you guys love it. It is going to be the uh, chromatic expansion thing, right? Remember we used to put chromatic metal in there? And if you put in, I don't know, let's say cadmium. Cadmium was my go-to because it was really easy to get. And it made a whole, you know, a whole stack of it. Well, look at that. It only goes one to two now. So you can make double your amount of cadmium, which is awesome, right? So this is what we would normally do. It used to be one to four. They cut it down to one to two, which kind of sucks, but hey, they wanted to balance it out. That's fine. Now, the issue comes up with, it used to be, cadmium used to make two chromatic metals. Now it only makes one. So if you were to refine this again, you would lose your uh, cadmium. You basically only make 20 chromatic metal it is not as efficient as it used to be it is not worth it in my opinion i would not go with any of them and it works with all of them all of the uh, precious metals that we used to go with the cadmium the uh emerald the indium they all are the same and so none of the metal chromatic uh metal expansions are worth it anymore they're not worth it so i wouldn't even go to that all right but there are some other things that we could do so if you did not know, oxygen is the most important resource in No Man's Sky, and I'll show you why. So we're going to put down 10. So we have 10 oxygen, and let's pull out something uh, normal. Like, hey, look, we have some condensed carbon, right? Look at that. We can make... Oh, let's only put 10 in there. We make one condensed carbon and two oxygen make six condensed carbon which means you get almost like six times as much condensed carbon so that is something that's the uh oxygenate carbon it's basically like a, a, car, a, a condensed carbon expansion so let's do it and it doesn't take any time to do boom now we have 30 we only used five of our carbon and we made 30 condensed carbon that is crazy that is just insane. So that is one of the recipes that I love. But oxygen can be used for so much more too. So you, you could do it for condensed carbon. If you want to make a lot of money, you can try cobalt. So if you find cobalt somewhere, you say, okay, look, at it. it goes two to five, two to five. So we use two of each and we make five. So that's a little over double. That's like two and a half times uh, process. But... It makes ionized cobalt, so that's pretty awesome, right? Let's do that real fast. So out of 10, we made 25 ionized cobalt. That's two and a half times, right? But we could do better than that. Let's do oxygen. And this is two oxygen and one ionized cobalt makes six ionized cobalt. It's just like the uh, condensed carbon. We're making six times the materials. Look at that, we just used five iodized cobalt and we made 30. And if you're gonna try to make money by selling this, it is $401 per ionized cobalt. So you can make millions doing that. 
just added a whole bunch of oxygen. And look at that, 50 ionized cobalt. Let's see how much 50 gets us. Look at that, 50 ionized cobalt just turned into 300 ionized cobalt. That is insane, but it gets even better than that. So if you're trying to get the best material to sell, I would always suggest chlorine. Chlorine is the highest selling item that you can duplicate with that same process that we were just doing with the co you know, condensed carbon and the uh, ionized cobalt. So you would take chlorine and you would put it in there, but sometimes you can't find chlorine, like you can't buy it, you can't make it. So what I would always suggest is you put some salt, put some salt in your uh, refiner with your oxygen because for, it'll take two salt and two oxygen and make five chlorine. So that again, that's two and a half times. So let's try this. So from 10 salt, we just got 25 chlorine. Beautiful, right? And then if you put chlorine in here, it is just like the ionized cobalt. You'd use two oxygen and one chlorine and it makes six chlorine. So that is six times the amount of chlorine. Let's pop it in. 25 chlorine, let's see how much we get. We just got 150 chlorine out of 25 just by mixing it with oxygen. That is so awesome. And you can just keep doing this process over and over. And I say use chlorine because it is worth $602 per chlorine. So you can make millions doing that as well. But it gets better than that because oxygen is the best resource in the game, period. It is the best material you can ever find. Let's put that away. Now, let's say, hey, look, you're looking for a special material. Well, if you are like me, I collect all the, uh, the special items from each planet. Like every uh, radiation planet will have uranium on it. So let's put some radiation or some uranium in there. If you put that in there, one oxygen and two uranium will give you one gamma root. You don't even have to farm it. Look at that. You don't even need the gloves to get it. You can just do that. Boom. And I just got five gamma root. So holy cow, easy peasy. And that works for everything. If you put the hot uh, material, so that would be the um, phosphorus. You put phosphorus and oxygen together, that'll give you selenium. Look at that, selenium. Oh, just kicked me out of there. Why? Okay. It's just got selenium from that. Everything will work with oxygen. So my huge tip to you is Put something in there with oxygen. Now, not everything's gonna work. Like if you put the gamma root in with the oxygen, it's not gonna work. But if you put the uh, chlorine or the cobalt, you know, chromatic metal doesn't work either. You see that, like boom, you just drop it in there. But it is totally worth it just to see what happens. There are so many different recipes, like dioxide. What are you gonna get? Frost crystals. Boom, right there. So much. It is so crazy. So if you're looking for a specific material from a, a hot or a cold planet, just stick something in there with oxygen and you're good to go. And all these materials you can buy from a space station, remember that. Go to the space station, go to the terminal, they will have a majority of these items. Not, not every single one, but they will have, every system's gonna have something in it. And so if you didn't find what you want, go to another system or talk to one of the pilots that lands on the space station. They will have other materials as well. There is so much you could do with the refiner. It is the most overlooked item in the game, I think, because you can make anything with this refiner. Now, and you don't even need a large one. All you need is your refiner that have two spots in it. So if you have a medium refiner, that'll work too. Your personal and your portable refiner, they're really limited because they only have one slot, as you can see. But I mean, like if you need some uh, chlorine, put your salt in there. Salt just by itself will turn into chlorine takes two salt to make one chlorine. You could totally do that. If you're out of uh, carbon, throw in some oxygen because oxygen turns into carbon. So if you need carbon for your mining laser or anything like that, boom, right off the bat, throw in some oxygen, you'll get carbon. There's so many cool things you can do with your, uh, your personal refiner, your large refiner, your medium refiner. Start using refiners because you can make a ton of items in No Man's Sky. So. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I will see you guys next time.